magic school bus explores the senses. Our class was studying the senses. How people and animals know what's going on around them. We were doing experiments and writing reports. We were even learning a song about the senses. To sing at an important parent-teacher meeting. The day before the meeting, we practiced our song twenty times. Without our senses, we'd be out of it. By Carlos. If someone could not see, hear, feel, taste, or smell, that person would not be able to tell anything about the outside world. Hear a school bell ring, see a bright light shine, touch a cat's soft fur, you'll be just in time to come to your senses. It would have been easier if we had an ordinary teacher, but we don't. We have Miss Frizzle. Looking at her dress made us forget the tune. Her shoes made us forget the words. And her wacky personality made us forget almost everything else. Class, the show is tomorrow evening. Taste a school bell ring. Smell a bright light shine. Somehow I don't think we'll be ready. Every animal n needs senses by Arnold. Without senses, an animal cannot find food or escape from danger. I see you. I hear you. I smell you. I see, hear, and smell you too. Even the tiniest animals have senses, by Keisha. One-celled animals have simple senses. They can tell when their surroundings are too hot, too cold, or too poisonous. Then they turn around and go the other way. I may be microscopic, but I'm sensitive. When the school day was over, we went outside to warm up for a game. After a while, Miss Frizzle came out and got in her car. At the same moment, Mr. Wildy, our new assistant principal, called to us. See you at the meeting tonight. Tonight, we groaned. Miss Frizzle thinks it's tomorrow. I have to tell her said Mr. Wildy, but it was too late. The frizz was already driving away. Mr. Wildy is a great assistant principal, but I don't think he can handle the bus. He does seem like a quiet sort of guy. He needs our help. Which senses are most important by Phil? Different kinds of animals rely on different senses. Seeing is most important to birds. They can't find food if they can't see it. Bats use hearing to tell them where they're going. They can't hunt if their ears are blocked. Snakes smell the air with their forked tongues. If a snake's tongue isn't working, it's hard for it to find its prey. That smells yummy. 
"I've got to catch up with Miss Frizzle," said Mister Wildy. To our surprise, he got behind the wheel of our bus. Believe us, we've had a lot of experience with that bus. We couldn't let Mister Wildy drive it, not all by himself. After all, he's only an assistant principal. He's not Miss Frizzle. We all jumped on board. Come back, Miss Frizzle. Our top senses by Wanda. Seeing and hearing are the two most important senses for humans. Stop. Look. Listen.